so I did mine on how to get up on a wakeboard. So today I'm going to be demonstrating that for you. First off, I want to show you guys a video. If you, if you don't know the basic techniques, this probably will happen. exactly what you don't want to do. So if you just listen to the key points I'm going to be going over today, you'll probably be alright and not end up in the hospital or anything like that. So the first three things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remember stance, posi positioning, and board parts. The first thing I'm going to be going over is board parts for you, so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about here. Uh, obviously, <coughs> this is a wakeboard. Uh, you have your bindings, which you put your feet in. Uh, if you look on the bottom side, you're going to have four fins. This is what gives you your edging and turning on the board. So without those, you're kind of going to be out of control. And then also, if you look, you have a rocker, which is the concave on the board. If you can see through the tip and tail, they're pretty steep. So that's what gives you, keeps the board out of the water and keeps you on top from nose diving in or anything like that. So now that we have that done, what I'm also going to go over is binding fitting. When you get in the water, a lot of people do this wrong, and it gives you a lot of problems. Just little things in your toes. So what it is, you keep, it, get your feet in there. You don't want the bindings too snug on your feet. Your big toe wants to be touching the tip of the boot, but you don't want them so cinched up that if you fall, the board's on you, because then it's just going to be another ex extra thing just to rip you around in the water and pull you down. So you want them tight and snug so you can control it, but not too tight, where if you fall, you're not going to come out and safely eject or anything like that. So you have binding fitting and all the board parts already. Now you're going to want to get in the water. Once you're in the water, you're going to have the rope in your hand, and it's going to be slack from the boat going into drive before you get tension in the rope. You're going to tuck up into a little ball. And when you do that, you want to be angling this board kind of like this. People put it against a common mistake. is They keep it flat, completely like that. And what that does is causes tension and pressure when the water is hitting it. You're not going to get it up at all. What you want to do is you want to tuck into a little ball as tight as you can, almost your knees into your chest, as small, the smallest point as possible. You want to angle this board like that. So when you get up, it's just going to pop up rather than fighting up against the water. Once you have that, you're going to want to have a rope right here in your chest. Your knees are going to be right there in your chest, and the handle's right on top of it with your, your, your arms right tucked in your side. If you just stay in a little ball like that, it's a lot easier to get up and you're not gonna fight the boat and the power that's pulling against you. Let the boat do all the work. Once they hit it, it's gonna feel like, <laughs> most people what they do is, they just fight it. And for some reason, they just tug it like they're gonna rip that boat down and you can even feel it sometimes <laughs> in the boat. The boat is literally going like this because people are just fighting it. Just let it pull you up. The worst that's going to happen is you're just going to tip right over. It's not that big of a deal. It's going to take you a couple times, but you might as well try the easy way so you actually get up. Then once you get up, a huge thing people have a problem with is the second that boat pulls up, your boat, your board is sideways. What a lot of people do is the second they feel that, they try to turn the board, and the board is still under the water, and you're just going to go down with it. And people have literally, I've seen people literally be ripped like under the water, holding on. It's dragging them, completely submerged. So you want to wait. You can ride all day sideways like this. If you're just like that, you're fine. Finally, when the board is out of the water, that's when you want to turn the board. And also what you're going to do first is find out your positioning. So what you can do is, I read this little article on uh, wakeboardbone.com, and what you can do is if you close your eyes and imagine that you're falling forward, whatever foot that you fall on is your your dominant leg. And so that's the way you're going to want to be riding in the water. So that's just a good point because a lot of, what a lot of people do is they don't know which way they should stand. And then when they get out there, you know, they have their other foot like that and it's not natural for them so it's a lot harder to control it. So once you're up and you have your natural stance, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to keep that rope right there. You want to, you just want to glue it to your hip. That's what that guy did exactly wrong. He got out of <laughs> out of control and that rope got way up here and that's why that's why he went the way he did because if you have that rope up there it's just going to be top heavy and that 
power is just going to rip you into the water. So if you just remember that, you should be okay. And keep your back knee bent. So once you have that bent, the board is going to go like that because you have more pressure on your, more weight on your back foot and keep the nose out of the water. So it'll kind of be like that. So if you just remember those things, you should be all right for the most part. So common mistakes is fighting the boat. You don't want to do that. Just let it pull you up. Stand up too soon, just wait. You can take as long as you want and it'll finally just get you out of the water. And the last thing is rope in the face. You don't want the rope up here or even worse like him up here. If you do that, it's game over. Just remember those things. So just remember, stay tucked, wait, rope in your hip once you're up and you should be okay. And if you want any more uh, details on how to get up, a good, good website to go to is wakeboard.com slash, slash SG. And there's a great step-by-step -step instruction and there's a video that tells you how to do it and yeah, that's it.